Come back, baby. I miss you. It's okay, Smash. I'm sorry. DLC number three, man. <laughs> <laughs> I would scream. Oh my god. All right, here we go, folks. We're gonna have Mars and DM uh, going up against White and Don here. Winner of this gets a date with uh, Kool Aid and Maddie G. Kool Aid and, Kool -Aid and Maddie G. And yeah. I don't know. Winner's finals was kind of a mop, man. It was yeah, 3 0 man. for Maddie G and Kool Aid. Uh, you know, DM and Mars tried to make it be as competitive as possible, but all those games were oh, very convincing. That's an, an unfortunate start right there. Mars just a little bit out of reach uh, for that quick draw to hit the ledge right there. And I gotta say, this is an interesting. Uh, you know, team. Obviously, Ike's still like a newer commodity. So, but I feel like Ike was always one of those characters that was really good in teams. Right. Like, even when he wasn't a good character, because teams you can kind of get away with like, you know, using lesser characters just because a lot of their flaws are, you know, don't show up as much in teams. At least in Smash Four. Now Ike's actually a good character, and right now, look at that. I agree. It's like a uh, Bowser as well was another one of those characters where in Smash Four, like wasn't super amazing, but you whip them out in teams, and suddenly it's a completely different landscape, killing people that 50, 60, not getting punished for it as well. Ooh, and unfortunate right there for uh, for Light. He accidentally kills his partner uh, trying to save him, so. We gotta respect the attempt. Yeah, and so something that I noticed from Mars in, in some of the stuff I saw earlier today is that he will do uh, falling air and then just forward smash. Reading the air dodge, it, it was very Smash 4 S. Like you hit somebody and it's like, oh, they're scared, smashing air dodge, and then boom, yeah. lose their stock to like 50. I can't say I'm surprised, but that's always kind of been Mars's calling card. He's all about the home run. Yeah. Like, he, it's, it's very all or nothing. But, I mean, Ike's one of those characters, you, like, you know, the reward greatly outweighs the risk. And uh, there you go. The forward smash lands right there. And I got to say, DM doing a really good job uh, stock taking right now. I think Pikachu is a phenomenal team's character still. I agree. Uh, you know, small character, controls space very well, can tank, can play support. Uh, you know, can just do a lot of everything really, really well. Very well-rounded team's character. And then out from DM, won't get the Thunder conversion though. Oh, I like that uh, that cape usage from Don there. Was able to swing the forwarder the other way and not have to deal with the contention from DM. Oh my god, Lord. Up airs. Ugh. I've seen a KO probably over like a thousand <laughs> times this time, but like it's, every time I'm still like, damn. Yeah, man. I, 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 stay com I stay comparing Fox to a corrupt politician that's just like <laughs> stayed in office for years of scandal, yet still continues to be at the top of his game. But Argentina, baby. <laughs> not Argentina. All right, but now Morris sitting at uh, his last stock right here. But DM, at least, at least DM, DM is being there to just kind of be the nuisance so that uh, oh. that would have been nuts. Oh, my oh. God. I don't know how he still had enough invulnerability on that air dodge. I swear to God he was dead, but speaking of dead, found his way out on a different elevator. Yeah, man. Oh, okay. Oh, and I see he's going for the cheeky stuff where he catches him on the way down, grabs ledge, and manages to kill him. Yeah, so it was looking like uh, you know a, a deficit for the blue team has turned into a reversal. Uh, so now DM and Mars uh, in prime position to take this first game. Oh, okay. Mixes up the timing by going low a little bit, spacing himself from a weird spacing from the ledge there. But that's one. All right, so a share stock situation on deck oh. right now. Let's see if uh, Don's gonna be able to capitalize on it. That's a tall order. Oh. Man, what killed him even? Was it the hit from DM or was it I saw Mars doing something too? Was it jab? Yeah. <laughs> DM did up smash. Yeah. Okay, there we go. DM up smash and I think Mars jab. Yeah, thank you to the disembodied voice of HO3K Helper for uh, providing us. It's a nice up, up smash. That boom. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Tag yeah. Like, hey, everybody wants a piece of the pie. Yeah, hey, hey man, good game. Cool. <laughs> Promise Neverland, man. There we go. Yeah, really, I'm going to go ahead and load the game two. My man staying hydrated with the water. I want your Yo, opinion man, I got this, it. because uh, when I was doing commentary with, with Fats, I was saying that Light looks kind of like like a Craigslist J. Cole. He said Craigslist was disrespectful, so, so I'm gonna say <laughs> I'm gonna say Costco J. Cole right now. <laughs> Those are two completely different <laughs> things. But, but <laughs> w w Walmart is like too much of a deal, though. Yo, okay, shout out to my outfit I'm right now. I I stand Target in this house. Dude, Chris, Yo, but does I'm this saying. does this look like Light's hair right now? I don't. I don't know. No, I liked it when not. it was like a little bit shorter, but now I feel like it's getting to the point where it's like a little. A little yeah, he looks, he looks like a survivor contestant that's been on the island for just a little too long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, Corbin Blue in Fight 29 Down. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what happened to Corbin Blue? <laughs> I don't know. Is he the one that. <laughs> no, it's Orlando Brown that like, went off the rails. In his yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh man, Eddie? Eddie went crazy. What happened to Eddie, man? My god. <laughs> but we back. 
Going ahead with game two. Uh, Lion Don almost able to hold it down for that game one. Um, but still not enough. They had that crazy reversal toward the end that really spelt the rest of the yep. that game one. But so we'll see how the stage layout of Pounded City changes here. Like, you know, oh. God, the, the stage isn't like a, a uh, you know, a, a vertical blessing uh, for teams anymore. It, I believe it uh, has the largest vertical blast in the game. I believe so. Although the sides still being very small, so we'll see if that plays a factor here. Could also just be the changing layouts, you know, could provide just some different looks uh, for uh, Light and Don. So we'll see how it works out here. Yeah, because I'm wondering, because the, the other, uh, I guess, negative drawback that comes with the stage is that uh, uncertain uh, transformation here. If Amari is able to land an air, it can be very disgusting to carry off the left or right side and get a quick conversion to another air and then to carry off the top. Yeah, man. Ike doesn't give a, a damn yeah. about how big your blast zones are. Like, neutral air and neutral air to up air provides us so much work. I mean, I'm just saying, I mean, the man holds a two-handed sword with one hand. Like, yeah. You, you see that enough, and it's like, all right, well, if he's going to do all that, we know what comes next. Yeah, canonically, Ike's sword is supposed to snatch your wrist and if you try to, like, pick it up with one yeah. hand. Yeah. So. My man out here, P90X, uh, I scoff at you. P90X, uh, Insanity, we bring that back. <laughs> Bow Flex Machine. <laughs> and he's using the Path of Radiance, like, too. This isn't even the slow, like, this isn't the Radiant Dawn, like, this is just, oh man, I'm still learning how to use this thing, like. Yeah, he's the before picture, like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love that. That, that that's, that's the way to say it, man. So pretty even across the board right here, DM kind of sitting at the danger percent. Pikachu still. Lacking a lot uh, in the weight category. And what you said about Ike Flambo could also be the same thing can be said about Fox and Mario. Mm. Like both these characters, if, if they get you in the right, you know, lockers or, or hit situation in the platform, uh, you're probably going to, you know, eat your demise right. as well. So. Right, it's going to be a, a little longer for Mario. Just to just get probably a few more up airs as well. And also just like this team, right? So there's a good chance they'll get interrupted. Oh, man. Yeah, down air going to kill off the top. That move receiving receiving a huge buff in regards to the, the knockback on it. Yeah, hits him with the I am here. Yeah. The, <laughs> the final hit. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my hug? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Let him know what's up. Ooh, DM going all the way off the side. And he, he can do that. Even if it misses, it doesn't matter. He's not really committing to anything because of how easy it is for Pikachu to make it back to the stage. Yeah, Pikachu's a jerk. Pikachu just got to go out there. I need to say a little bit of a, uh, a reset right now for the most part. Uh, Ike, or excuse me, Mars continuing to fight right now uh, against Don. The up smash will connect right there. So now blue team, both members under the last socks right now. Blue can be able to come out victorious here. This is Luigi's final, so that does mean it is a best of five. This is not quite a tournament point yet for any of these members, but you know, could be the big difference between going up 2-0 or 1-1. Yeah, I think the big thing here, oh, I don't know, I think the neutral are definitely interrupted whatever was happening right there, but Ike meets his demise, so DM sitting on a last stock situation right now, having to take three stocks from the yellow team. Okay, DM off the side. You see Nair trying to catch the onstage. Awesome won't be enough, but now Light putting on the path. <laughs> there we go. The shoes get the job done, so we are even up uh, one game uh, apiece here. Yeah, there we go. They managed to put one on the board, and also they managed to save themselves a little bit in terms of the counter pick economy, um, because you know if they had gone to that game three down 2-0, you know they would have had one counter pick. But then from that point forward, it's completely in the favor of the team that's up 2-0 to decide what happens in the set from there, that point on. But you win the one one, and now you have some wiggle room. Gotta love those trickle down economics of counter picks. Yeah, oh dude. Let, let me now melee. Or, melee. What am I talking about? <laughs> Ultimate economics, man. We, we're here to talk about the nitty gritty. If you guys want to talk about doing your taxes as well, we can help you out with that. If you do know, uh, I believe the deadline for the Roth is coming up. So. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my mom, who's my accountant, did my taxes for me. Yo, same? So. Same? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't do my own taxes. <laughs> the hell no, I don't do my own taxes. <laughs> come on, man. You wild if you think I'm doing that. Lucky, you're lucky if I clean my room, do my own taxes. It's like, come on. The day where I can put You do off, your taxes yet, Kool-Aid? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> he looked pretty sad about that, too. <laughs> like, damn, I still, I still got to do my taxes? Uncle Uncle Sam is, uh, is, is cool. Man, that's wild. This is game three, yeah. We're going to have loading in two game numero threes. Yeah, man. Rubber game in the set right now, so whoever wins this, uh, definitely at least going to be in the counter picket or, you know, in the driver's seat. Although, and lose and has counter pick advantage. We shall see uh, how things square out here. Uh, Curious pick of FD right here. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, FD is like a 
an interesting stage with all together just because of uh, how the blast zones work because that distance from the side uh, from like the, the corner of the side what am i trying to say like the the most rider most side of the stage like the, yeah. the corner the yeah. corner of the stage to the blast zone has uh, some some of the widest in comparison to the other stages right so in terms of what they're going to do there a lot of these characters kill pretty easily horizontally like a forward smash from mario here as opposed to any other stage probably doesn't make a, a big difference probably five percent at the maximum so it's like all right you know get that forward smash from him a little bit closer to center you could still find yourself a payoff up the side but yeah. up the top yeah so quickly the blue team finds himself in a deficit here i also think the name of the game here is going to be uh whose landing is going to get blown up the hardest oh, all these characters are especially good at, at juggling you keeping you in disadvantage and really hitting you where it hurts on landing uh, so we'll see how it works out right now. Unfortunately uh, for the blue team, they haven't been able to net that kill that they uh, so desperately oh. might need. But back air finds respite. And up tilt once oh. again. So a quick two for one for the blue team. Getting themselves back in it right now, Flambo. And we're going to see what we're going to Dawn immediately running to Mars. Looks like, you know, sometimes you kind of pick your pick your poison in these teams, right? You say, all right, who's going to 1v1 who? And then we'll like switch off sometimes. But usually there's like a primary focus of who's going to deal with who. And we've seen Dawn try to go in and deal with Mars. And I think he probably gets the most guaranteed stuff off of grabs and off of landing straight hits. He gets in there, probably run up down to run up, get a grab. But for, for Mars, I mean, not Mars, but Light, he has to do like a fall in there or something like that. Yeah, exactly. You definitely don't want to be like, you know, too telegraphed and how often right. you're fighting somebody. You want to give someone different looks, obviously. But right now, whatever the yellow team's doing right now, it's working because Mars uh, has been getting kind of chewed up a little bit right here, and he's dead. Oh, wow. Yeah. That back air is still sending you at the impossible angle. Um, but that's going to be last stock here for Mars. That's about getting chewed up, man. Ain't nothing better than finishing your food. Had him clean up that plate off the right side. Well, we're going to see who's going to die next here. We have Mars in that final stock. And a KO coming up from, what, that DM managed to get that KO? Yes, sir. So we're even, yeah, so we're about pretty even across the board right here in regards to, like, you know, both stocks and percent for both teams. So we shall see how everything uh, pans oh. out. Oh. Wow. That was super fortunate right there for the yellow team. That could have gone anybody's way yeah, right there. Yeah, because I, I believe John was still mid down here when Light came up with that up air. <laughs> wow, that parry was nuts. There you go. That looked, that looked like an up tilt right there. So One socks across the board for everybody, but Mars sitting at that super, uh, I don't want to say super unhealthy. He is Ike. Yeah. Uh, so. I, I, I do feel like people, oh man, never, never mind, he's going. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Again, the awareness the, the, the awareness of uh, of Don Ooh. to go for those pummels, waiting for light to come in. That was the, the quickest 76 I think I've ever seen. Oh man, man. Died as early as he got there. He's like, uh, Fallout 76, what happened to that game? Nobody knows. <laughs> what happened to the stock? Nobody knows. It's gone. It's gone. And there we go. Don and Light winning the rubber game right now. It's going up 2 1. I gotta say, man, the handoffs and, and the follows from Light and Don, it just proves like, it's like these guys are riding a tandem bike. Like, like they're, 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 they're just a combination. Have you ever, like, actually ridden one of those? No, I never had a friend I trusted enough to, like, ride a tandem bike with. Devin, you wanna ride a tandem bike together? Just say when, man. <laughs> let's let's tandem bike to collision. Yeah. Oh God. Oh, you're gonna burn some calories after, Arjun, man. I'm on my way. <laughs> I'll be there in three hours. <laughs> Man, you ever look up like you ever looking up something in Google Maps and like it gives you like the directions on how it would take how long it would take the bike there? Yeah. Yeah. I'm curious how long it would take the bike here. Let me let me, let me think about it. Well, here we go. So Gladian Steam uh, could potentially be the stage and uh, the song uh, for the last game here in Losers Finals. So. Yeah. That's, uh, Light and Don do indeed win. But in the event they don't, <laughs> there could be one more. We're gonna see what happens. Who's gonna get that uh, that advantage there already? Uh, up smash coming out from light and then the nair into rapid dab that racks up a good chunk of damage and ooh that could have been really bad there for uh for don but light just again just having the presence of mind to just be there give mars something else to think about so it could have go for a, a, a crazy punish uh off that uh missed up beat. yeah one of the things i always talk about with light is that i think out of all the players that i've seen thus far he is by far in my opinion the most consistent when it comes to parrying and just parrying Great moves on the fly. Yeah, man. He's like, he utilizes it like some of the best out of any of the top players I've seen. Like you said, just the awareness of mind of the situations in which you can use it. What's the best one to get out of it? Down smash on a platform, though. Once again, Mars is going to meet them, his demise first in this set. Oh, here we 
go. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Coming out. Once again, <laughs> from my man. He's doing a bad. He harasses so much. It's so good. Like, I hate rapid deaths because I feel like they kind of like stall the pacing of a match a little bit because you're just kind of like sitting there and waiting for it to end. Yeah, it's, it's a free 12 to 50%. Yeah. Like, who would have take that? Ooh. Oh, oh, flip stool. I thought it was going to be a jab lock setup. Throw him up. There we go. Wow, that's 66%. <laughs> what? That's what I'm saying, man. Like, these two just know, like, what converts the best win. Like, that, that extra damage just makes such a difference. And it's teams, too. Like, they're doing less damage just because of the nature of the game mode. Yet still, they rack it up. Oh, clean. Wow. Clean. There you go. Ice up smash. Uh, very good. <laughs> <laughs> to say the least. That, 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 that's all I can really say. That moves, like, it's super strong. If you get hit by it, you're probably going to die. And I have to give a shout out to the way Ike is animated. It feels like every single one of his swings has adequate weight to it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I believe it was Max that, that coined it first, but uh, uh, Ike's sword slashes sound like a water balloon exploding. So I uh, hope you guys have fun uh, unseeing yeah. that for the rest of your oh, life. Oh, man. I, I, it's ruined for me now. <laughs> Needless to say, uh, the blue team continuing to press your lead ah! right now. Oh, sheesh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, not going to die for it, though. Okay. So. Damn, it took me for a ride. That's, that's the way I sound like when I took Superman at Six Flags. It, it, it is not a good time for me. <laughs> Sorry, you guys, didn't see me that brief moment of right there. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. There we go. And now, falling there, tries to get the up smash. Doesn't quite space it right, Ooh. though. Needed to turn around the up smash. Nice anti air right there at the up tilt. But DM beats his demise first, and so uh, does Mars following suit. But if they can get the stock here off of light, this is very much oh. doable. There we go. Koopsterdam is coming through. Up air? Oh, God. Yeah, okay. So this is going to be uh, definitely a hard one for, for light to pull off. Not impossible. You know, uh, light has some of the best, like, oh. tunnel vision and the ability to press that I've seen out of uh, you know, any of the top players that I know. But, uh, you know, you're in between a knife and a hard place, man. Yeah, and, you know, I, I've seen, you know, light do this in Smash 4 a lot, but he had fair footstool that he could kind of use to kind of get stocks very early and then set, set it into a 1v1. In this game, he doesn't really have that. I've seen him do like fair into like shine, but... Ooh, I like the stall right there from uh, Light. He's giving himself... Oh, oh damn! Ew! <laughs> How you go back, but you die Bro, up? what? He must have been holding in for dear life, because... <laughs> damn! Can I get a physics lesson, please? I, I want to see a replay on that. No, you know what I need House of Three Cab? They have House of Three K has the replays. Do you guys have slow mo? Because <laughs> that, that would be OD. That'd be the next level. You do? Get ready. Oh my God, Ooh. Devin is God. Let me see. Yeah, Devin, Devin's a genius, man. I'm saying. Hey. Here we go. Yeah, I was going to shout out to House for providing the stream for you guys House today. House of Three Thousand is honestly the goats. Every tournament I go to, uh, it ends up being one of two things. One, the stream is like all right, but they don't have the thing for the ads, or they don't show you bracket, or they don't give you an update tablet. <laughs> or two, the production has like an okay mainstream, but then the side stream is just straight up ass. <laughs> like what, what happened? Yeah, they bought the side stream at Toys R Us yeah, that morning or something. A hundred percent. You go watch the vlogs later, and it sounds like. And it's like, what are you? What are you even saying? Something like a McDonald's drive-through. <laughs> but Walker, we'll no on yet. <laughs> excuse, excuse me, sir. What? What? What was that? that <laughs> Wi-Fi, no onion. <laughs> but <laughs> shout out to Dave Cook. Things I didn't think I'd ever say in a match game. Here we go, folks. Game five, and we're going to church for this final game right now. So we shall see if the if the stage pick of uh, of Catalyst Pokemon League like makes a difference here. So yeah, I wonder because you know people always complain that it's a big stage, but I actually think that big stage is. Uh, give you more room to set up more 1v1s. Right, because yeah. Because when you're closer, you, you feel more claustrophobic, you just can't really do much. And even for projectile characters, on the sides, it actually gives you more space to maneuver and run around the projectiles. So pretty even game at the gate here. Uh, once again, Ike uh, is the one sitting at the, the highest percent at the earliest. Bro, that was oh. kind of hot. <laughs> Like, he back-aired him, and then Don caught him. But needless to say, uh, they eventually do get the kills they so uh, greatly desire. Okay, I like the use there. They'll be able to recover with a super jump, punch, and get some aggression on the DM. But he gets one up air, and that's another thing. I think if he had just gone for the down air, it would have been more beneficial. There are moments in this game where you hit someone with a move, and you end up negative. So you need to be careful, right? Uh. Ooh, I like, yeah, the shine stall right there providing uh, 
There's a little bit of a different look right there for Light to get back. And uh, got tanked up the wardrobe. Up air, another one, not enough to top the top. Can I get a fourth up air? Yeah, please. Oh, God, it's so quick. Yeah, man. I actually forget, there is a, a canon name for Ike's back air in this game. I just do not remember really? what it is. Yeah. I'm he doesn't say, though. Yeah, I mean, some moves got names. Uh, some of them great. Sometimes you have people like Raptor calling it the Mac and Cheese. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> no Palutena on the screen right now. <laughs> yeah, even though we are, like I said, we are in church, uh, home of the uh, Kalos Elite Four. Hey, exactly, man. You got to pray to, to let them know what it's all about, man. Pay your respects because four smash is coming out from Mars. That could be a very, very deathly story here in the game five. This determines who goes on to the grand finals to fight a recently sponsored uh, Dai Jovu, Maddie G, and Mark. And that was a Maddie G and Kool-Aid. Yeah, and that was a crazy reversal right there uh, for the blue team. Edge guarding both Don and Light at relatively, you know, early-ish percents, around 70%. Uh, oh, and there we go. A last stock situation here, Flambo. Game five, like you said, winner uh, has a chance to, uh, you know, fight for the tournament crown. Loser goes home. And it's going to be the first ultimate event for Overclock as well. So you definitely want to start off strong as the first Overclock doubles champion. We're going to see who's going to come out on top. It's a great parry right there for Mars. going to provide uh, some coverage and a great 2v1 combo right there uh, from DM and Mars. But Light and Don find their way back down to the ground. You see Mars once again go for the home run. Coming up short and that uh, almost felt the demise right there for, uh, for DM. Ugh, God, that kind of so scary. Iron Man, I know I'm... You know, fiddling and shivering in my boots. Yeah, this is not good for my ADHD. Oh, that's one? Okay, comeback has to be made by Mars. Will he get duck? Let's see. Or will uh, Light and Don uh, advance into grand finals? Oh, can't get the upper off that. Oh, he did that? Oh, you're brave. Oh, oh no, didn't get the follow up. Oh, okay. Hey, okay. What a country, have some fun. <laughs> oh, almost missed the up air. Oh, The down air no. connects, and there we go, oh, baby. Oh, he put the, oh, <laughs> he had that fist weight in there for a minute. He knew it was over. Damn. Yeah, that was a great job there from Light and Don. Moving on to grand finals, Mars and DM. <laughs> Finishing out at third place. Yeah, not, not, not too shabby at all, but Light and Don, because I feel like every time Light and Don do damage in the doubles bracket. You always have people in chat like, who is Don? I've never heard of Don before. Don, yeah. Who's that guy? And like, anyone who knows who Don is, that's exactly that. They know who Don is. They know he's no one uh, to be messed around with. That guy is a double. Oh, yeah. Even in singles, he's OD too. 